So this is my bedroom, and as you can see, it's pretty big, it's pretty awesome, but we have zero storage. Reason being is I did built-ins in our last house, and you can't take those with you when you go. My wife's birthday's in a week, and I've got an idea to surprise her with a dresser that we could put right here. We haven't bought or built anything new because nothing matches, so my thought here is I take this stack of red oak, I build a box, I paint it black, and then we'll do a drawer face that I'll carve out to be awesome, and then I'll make some drawers for it. Hope she likes it, so I gotta break down this material and get this stuff in glory because we only got seven days. So like I said before, Sarah's birthday is seven days away and not to mention five days before Valentine's Day. So it's an awesome opportunity for me to pile on the surprises for her. Since we've met, I've always coupled my gift for her birthday and Valentine's Day together. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. I love it. It is so nice. When we got married, we were gifted a bedroom set from Restoration Hardware. It's actually their black printmaker set. We tried to buy the dresser to match, and they don't make it anymore. So I'm starting from scratch with something that I think will look good with the furniture that we do have. So I'm gonna be building this dresser out of mostly solid oak with plywood drawers. Right now we're breaking down all the oak because I needed to get this done. We'll get everything milled up as close as possible and then in glue up, brought back down to final thickness in the planer and then sanded before we get into any assembly. All right, people, these two slabs are gonna make up our drawer front. And I'm gonna glue it up as one big piece because my vision is a carvedy carved carve and I can't 3D model, so it's all in my brain. Imagination. So I can't show you a visual representation. So instead, I'm just gonna show you this random visual rep representation of something cool. All right, now let's move on. Hey, are you a woodworker looking to grow your business and build dream projects just like this one for your clients? Well, my business program, Craft a Career, just opened for enrollment and we're taking on new students. If you'd be interested in making more money and doubling your clients, hit the link down below, schedule a call with me, and we'll see if the program's a good fit for you. We have very limited availability, so make sure you're booking your call right now, and the course is not gonna be open past the end of February. So take advantage of this right now. All right, so. We are gonna put this thing together with a trusty old domino. The box should go together pretty easily. I know that all of my front faces are all the fronts on there, so I can literally just come in and use a reference pin and run my way down, pin, 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 everything should line up, perfect. We'll get this part of the carcass put together and then I have the interior parts to go in as well, and then I'll get the sucker in to glue up. Okay, now that I'm pissed, this is why you ask for help when there's people around and don't be a cocky bastard and try to do it all yourself. Probably should have done a TikTok. For the drawer faces, I'm feeling incredibly inspired by Nudge and Wood. He is an absolute stud artist. I've fantasized about his wood for years. I love power carving and this dude is a beast at it. He does like very organic wrinkled and organic looking shapes. More of like big waves that go the whole way through the drawer fronts. What do you think, Tyler? You just drop in and just smack the lip. The whole way through? Yeah. All right, Mob, it's time to carve. It's looking kind of good. Get a look at her, Tyler. You got to see her from a distance. I think it's pretty neat. We're running out of time quick. It's Friday, it's almost 5 p.m. We've only got a couple days, so I gotta get to sanding. I'm hoping that it looks a little smoother, which it should, because that's what sanding does. But I don't have the time to keep fiddling with it, because her birthday's coming, and the weirdest thing, time doesn't stop. We've got a bunch of voids in the top here that I wanna fill with a black resin. And I'm gonna try to use some medium hardener to get it to dry a little bit faster. Maybe I can sand it by the end of the day. But we're gonna be using Total Boats, standard high performance. Uh, and I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna get this done. I, I really don't. All right, the epoxy is starting to dry. We're back onto the carcass. You can see my mistake throwing it off of the table. A little bit of sanding, and that's basically completely disappeared. I'm gonna finish that and then get this sucker and glue up. 
All right, so everything's measured out here. We're running out of time. I was going to use some fancy cool joinery or something or other, but I'm just gonna pocket hold this in here. Shut your mouth. We gotta get this sucker glued up. That's my cabinet. So we're getting down to the wire here. It's like 2.30 on Tuesday. We gotta deliver this thing in two days. Lou's sanding, my parents are here. They're sanding other shit because God knows that they're not gonna work on my stuff. I gotta build a base for this sucker. So I'm gonna mill down some more oak because I think that that's what I wanna use. And then we gotta build drawer boxes, cut the drawer fronts still. I need to shut up and work though. What we would like to say around here, is um i got stuck on the f computer all morning i have two hours to get a bunch of stuff done because we have had a family emergency that i have to be at later today lou's gonna have to bring this sucker home and when you do crazy artistic things it's really hard to hand them off because they're hard to tell somebody else so i'm in a close to panic mode because my wife's birthday is tomorrow it's gonna be a long shot to get this sucker done do i think we can do it yes <laughs> So we're on to working on the drawer box material. I bought a couple sheets of three quarter inch plywood from Home Depot. I'm ripping everything down to seven inch widths, which will be the height of my drawers. And then we're gonna pocket hole all of the parts before assembly. Next on the list. We were limited on our plywood selection because our local Home Depot is terrible. And the place I usually order from, they're dead to me. I am going to pin these together and then- I'll screw them up. Only because the sun's out and so are your guns. Now, I gotta split this sucker into thirds and then thirds again. This could f everything. So I want you two to do it just in case it goes wrong, I have someone to yell at. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna track saw the short way and then we're gonna table saw the long way. I remember the track's attached to it. The track is attached to it, you ready? Good. Hi. I can't get up because I might poop myself. The next day. Okay, I just got back from the funeral and now I'm checking in on Lou. Lou, why don't you walk me through what you got done in the last 25 hours? I sanded the drawer boxes, sanded all of the burn marks off the drawer faces and broke the edges, put a coat on them, cut the cleats, put the cleats on, and right now I'm cutting up plywood. How long did you stay here last night working after I left? Just till 10. Damn! That's eight extra hours on top of the six he was already here. I will say this. Everything looks good. That's all I'll say. All right, so Lou did the best he could and I'm proud of him for it. I'm gonna bring these home uh, with some finish while he sands the rest of the carcass. So we'll get these things set up, gassed, installed, delivered. Everyone's smiling, everyone's happy. I am exhausted. Let us spray! All right, everything's dry. My wife has a doctor's appointment this morning because she's pregnant. So we're gonna get this thing assembled and sneak it into the house. Sarah just texted me. She's heading back, so we gotta get these damn drawers in. Hopefully she's surprised. If she's not, she definitely doesn't know that it's a dresser. I know I'm a day late. Oh, that's okay. What do you think it is? I have no idea. What could it be? A desk. Wrong. This way. Oh, wait a minute. Now this way. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Sir? Well, I don't think it's a desk. So good! Wow! Yeah. It's so nice! I had no idea. It's beautiful. Oh. Mwah. Happy birthday. Oh, I love it. Thank and Valentine's you. Day and push present. Okay. Push them. There oh, you that's go. So nice. I love it. I never, I never would guess you were building this. You faked me out. You... I did. If you guys want to see me build more awesome stuff and then surprise her with it, you've got what eight weeks before the next baby's here. So get on it and let me know what do you want us to build next. <laughs>